Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Neyman Pearson theorem for detection and also an example illustrating this theorem. So, given an observation x that follows a probability distribution P of x under the null hypothesis and another distribution P of x under alternate hypothesis. And given this observation under two with two possible probability distributions, that is one distribution under null hypothesis and another distribution under the alternate hypothesis. So, given this information, we can maximize the probability of detection that is to maximize probability of detection for a given probability of false alarm equal to alpha, we have to perform the likelihood ratio test that is L of x is equal to the ratio of the probability of x under the alternate hypothesis with the probability distribution under the null hypothesis should be greater than a threshold gamma, where the threshold gamma threshold gamma the threshold gamma is determined as follows. That is we basically have to solve the relation between probability of false alarm at the as probability that the that the ratio is greater than gamma under null hypothesis. So, this probability should be equal to alpha. So, the value gamma basically determines the threshold. So, let us look at an example illustrating this theorem. Consider an observation x naught that has two models under two hypotheses. That is under h naught, x naught is equal to noise component w of 0. Under alternate hypothesis, x naught is equal to 1 plus w of 0 and we have the information that the noise component w of 0 follows a normal distribution, a normal distribution with mean equal to 0 and variance equal to sigma square. Then the probability distribution, the possible probability distributions of x naught are that is under h naught probability of x naught, the distribution of x naught under h naught is equal to a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to sigma square. Under h1, probability distribution is x of probability of x of 0 under h1 is a, is a normal distribution with mean equal to 1 and variance equal to sigma square. Then the likelihood ratio test is that is L of x is the ratio of these two distributions that is P of x of 0 under h no, h1 over probability distribution of x of 0 under h0 should be greater than gamma. So, by using the definitions given here, we have 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential of minus x of 0 minus 1 whole square divided by 2 sigma square and the denominator is 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential of minus x square of 0 divided by 2 sigma square is greater than a threshold gamma. So, this is the likelihood ratio test. Now, by simplifying this expression on the left side, we have exponential of minus the x square term basically cancels between the numerator and denominator. So, we are left with minus of 1 minus 2 times x of 0 divided by 2 sigma square is greater than a threshold gamma. So, by taking logarithms on both sides, we have 2 times x of 0 minus 1 over 2 times sigma square is greater than logarithm of gamma. And by rearranging the terms, we have x naught is greater than 2 times sigma square multiplied by logarithm of gamma plus 1 over 2. This basically means that a test statistic T of x is greater than gamma dash, where the threshold new threshold gamma dash is equal to sigma square times log of gamma plus 1 by 2. And the test statistic T of x is equal to the observation x of 0. Now, let us look at a numerical side of this problem. That is for a values 
given as sigma square equal to 1 and the probability of false alarm equal to alpha equal to 10 power minus 3. Let us calculate the values of the threshold and the probability of detection. So, in order to calculate the threshold value, we have to first look at the definition of probability of false alarm which is equal to probability that the, that the observation x of 0 is greater than the threshold 1 by 2 plus logarithm of gamma since the value of sigma square is assumed to be 1 under the null hypothesis and this value is assumed to be 10 power minus 3. Since we already know that the distribution of x of 0 under h naught is a normal distribution, we can basically standardize this probability and calculate the required values. That is, we can use the definition x z equal to x of 0 minus 0 by 1. That is, x of 0 is already a standard normal variable. So, this becomes probability of z greater than 1 by 2 plus log gamma is equal to 10 power minus 3, which basically means that this is equal to 1 minus phi of 1 by 2 plus logarithm of gamma, which is equal to 10 power minus 3. So, and since gamma dash is equal to 1 by 2 plus log of gamma, and from the normal probability tables, so by using this transformation, we have phi of gamma dash is equal to 1 minus 10 power minus 3 which is 0 0.999 and from probability tables that is standard normal CDF tables we can clearly see that the value of gamma dash is equal to 3.08. Therefore, the threshold value is 3.08 for a probability of false alarm equal to 10 power minus 3 and the probability of detection PD probability of detection PD is equal to probability that the value x of 0 is greater than gamma dash under the alternate hypothesis H1, which is clearly equal to probability of z greater than gamma dash minus 1, since in the alternate hypothesis z equal to x of 0 minus 1. Therefore, this is the probability of detection. This and this value is clearly equal to 1 minus phi of gamma dash minus 1, which is 1 minus phi of 2.08 and from the normal probability tables this value can be easily seen as 1 minus 0 0.9812 so the difference is equal to 0 0.0188 therefore the for a probability of false alarm that is p of a equal to 10 power minus 3 probability of detection is that is corresponding probability of detection is 0 0.0188 which is not very satisfactory. So, in order to improve the probability of detection you basically we basically need to relax the probability of false alarm say something like 0 0.1 or 0 0.5. Thanks for watching.